Hi, my name is JT Keith, and today I'll be explaining to you the data analysis that I ran and collected for uh, Chapter 10. And the question that I'll answer is um, the income wage for cities broken down into Lubbock, Dallas, Fort Worth, and Austin, Texas. And then I will also be explaining the, the breakdown on the news channels preferred by political identification. Um, so I will be going over the next slide with those and explaining how I gathered my data and also on um, the graphing of the slides. So uh, this is for Dr. Callis' class, Chapter 10. So stick around. In slide two, you'll see that we did what was the breakdown on news channel preferred by political identification. Um, I used the colors of um, blue for Democratic, uh, for CNN, and then also uh, blue for Republican and Independent, and then for the total. We had 133 total respondents. Fox was red, and then we had green for MSNBC, and then for the total we had purple, which made the chart stand out. Um, I'm real happy with the chart and the way we designed it. And I think that you can see that it's on a um, white background. White and black work really well. And um, for what we did, I, I'm really happy with, with the results that we got. What the last slide showed you was um, the breakdown of news channels preferred by political identification. And you saw the color schemes that we went with uh, to make them stand out. But you'll see that um, the 2016 election may come down to the way that their coverage and how the news media affects coverage. You'll look at the Republicans prefer Fox. They get more favorable coverage. Um, and they're at 18. Democrats, they prefer MSNBC at 20. Also, the Democrats are a close second with uh, 18 at, at CNN. And then the independents have uh, Fox uh, coverage for CNN and then as well as Fox for 10. So that's the way we charted the graph and that's the way the information shook out. So we'll talk to you on the next slide. On well, this slide, we're going to look at the average income um, by city. The three cities that we were going to be looking at are Lubbock, Texas, Austin, Texas, and Dallas, Fort Worth. It may surprise you that Lubbock at 50, over $50,000 of income um, was number one, and then Austin at 40000 and then Dallas, Fort Worth. Lubbock had 36 respondents, um, and they had um, a, their, their average was 50000 Austin had 40000 and they had 58 respondents, and then Dallas Fort Worth had 36, 36 uh, respondents at 39,000. So um, it just seems like there would be more respondents and, and more income in Dallas Fort Worth because it's a bigger area. But the people that responded, um, it averaged out that Lubbock has more money per capita or, and um, per, per respondent. In this final slide, we're going to show you how uh, Lubbock had um, 36 respondents and had an average of over $50,000 of income uh, on the average. And then their total income was over $1.6 million for the 36 respondents. Austin had an average income of $40,000 with 36 respondents at $1.4 million. And the key here, and, when, and what's really surprising, is that Dallas-Fort Worth only had an average of $39,000 with 58 respondents and over $2 uh, million dollars of uh, income or revenue. and um, But when you divide it out by the respondents, Lubbock had more people and more money per person as opposed to Dallas, the big city. So um, that's my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, thank you.